With Christmas only days away, today was the official deadline from UPS and FedEx to guarantee the gift's arrival for Christmas. CBS 17's Colleen Quigley checked in with UPS stores today, and Colleen, they said the busy day for them is far from over. Yeah, that's right, because so you open your presents and maybe you get that one from Great Aunt Sally. It's not really your taste, so you got to return it. So you come right back here to the UPS store. Season, and that means it's busy season for Josh Ray and his team at the UPS store in North Hills. The volume here is, is much bigger than our usual um, everyday volume. UPS says between Thanksgiving and New Year's Eve, they'll deliver 800 million packages. Friday was the official deadline to ship a package via UPS to make sure it arrives in time for Christmas, but Josh says there is a chance packages shipped Saturday could make it under the tree. If you you sent something next day on Monday, it would get there Wednesday. So you still can get stuff there the day after Christmas. FedEx has a similar Friday deadline, but says in some cities, first overnight and express priority overnight packages since Saturday will arrive in time for the holiday. Even though the gift giving will be over, Josh says his team's going to be busy into the new year with all those gift returns. So if you end up sending back a package, he says save yourself in the store some time. Make sure you know where it's going. We ask that you have your address ready most of the time or have it written down because um, our line can get long if you're there on your phone trying to find the address. So you heard Zach's report a minute ago about those porch pirates. So we asked UPS, what do they suggest you do about them? And they said if you're still sending gifts, it might be a good idea to send it to the recipient's office or even a neighbor's house who you know is going to be there to accept the package. The other thing they said, you can actually tell the UPS driver where you want them to drop off the package. For example, maybe in the shed in your backyard. Reporting live in Raleigh, Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News.